Hey YouTube, so today I'll be setting up my iPod Touch to iOS 5. So my iPod Touch is a 4th gen from 2010. It's a 32 gig iPod Touch. And today is the day I decide to upgrade to iOS 5 is because I'm getting bored of iOS 4. So I can't wait to try out these new features. So I was previously running 4.3.3 with a jailbreakme.com jailbreak. So after I'm done with the setup, I'll be jailbreaking and making videos. So let's begin. So this is the new setup screen that you can set up from your device instead so all you do is slide now to ask you if you want to enable location services so you can enable them if you want to and you just click next on the top and here's where you choose your network so I'm going to choose my network and I'm going to type in my password so after you get connected to your network you just have to click next and here it's going to ask you if you want to set up your iPod Touch as a restore from iCloud backup, iCloud backup, a restore from iTunes backup or just set up as a new iPod Touch so I'm going to set up as a new iPod Touch and I'll restore from iTunes backup later so let's click next and here it will tell you to sign in with your Apple ID so I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID once you sign in with your Apple ID you're going to get terms and conditions so if you want to read this sure volunteer to read it but I, I'm just gonna press agree I agree to iCloud iOS and game center terms and conditions and the Apple pol privacy policy so you just click agree or cancel if you want to read it <laughs> and it's gonna say it'll take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID so it's gonna set it up so right now I actually got an email from Apple it says welcome to iCloud so it's gonna ask you here actually not right now iCloud stores your photos apps contacts calendars and more and wirelessly pushes them to your devices so if you want to use iCloud you just choose to use iCloud if you don't want to use it and you want to rely on the old technology then sure be my guest but I like iCloud so let's click next that's going to ask you if you want to back up to iCloud or to your computer so I'm just going to choose backup to iCloud for now and I'm going to use my backups, backups to iCloud better because I don't want to use the computer backups which I'll set up later on my computer. So now it's going to ask you if you want to use Find My iPod Touch. So if you misplace your iPod Touch, Find My iPod Touch can help you locate it on a map, play a sound, or display an image. So I actually want to use this. If you don't want to use it, then just do whatever you want. Now it's going to ask you if you want to send diagnostics and usage. So I'm going to click Don't Send because I don't want them. I don't want to send reports to them. That's going to say thank you. Your iPod Touch is now set up. You are ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever, which is true. <laughs> so you click start using iPod Touch, and voila, you are into the new screen of iOS 5 with new apps and old apps. And there you go. Now you have iOS 5 